and all, it's your girl, the one and only Sophie B, and we are here at the Back to School event in West End, and here with none other than, again, the man himself, Doc Shaw. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I am well. Glad to see you back in the Virgin Islands. Why is it so important to keep coming back? Oh, uh, well, first of all, it's a beautiful place, so I'm definitely never going to turn it down. But just to come out and see the the importance and the life-changing things that we can do for just one kid, as long as they take education seriously and they understand that we truly do care and we're coming out to give not only just our time, but to give any type of knowledge and experience that we can share with them to help them better themselves. So that's the most important thing to me. Right, and you had the opportunity to also introduce Miss Keisha Knight. You know, you spoke about uh, her being one of the most uh, inspirational persons in your life. You love working with her. She has education at the top. How is it working with her? It's always amazing. Um, I got to meet Keisha when I was about 15 or 16 years old. Um, and just like you and a lot of the other people here, growing up watching the Cosby Show and having that positive influence, even though she's a female and I'm a male, but just having that positive influence to have somebody else that you could look up to as growing up and knowing that they're positive, it really meant a, a lot to me to be able to work with her and not only just work with her, but meet her and feel her spirit and her energy and know that she truly not only cares about acting, but she cares about helping people and even cares about helping me. So for me to get the opportunity to introduce her, amazing. So what's going on with Doc Shaw? What are some of the things that you're currently doing apart from uh, House of Pain? Yeah, so, well, actually, we have a spin-off version of House of Pain that's coming out at the beginning of next year. So uh, I just wrapped on that. Uh, I took a little break after that, went on some vacations and had some fun. Uh, and then I got back into just, like, shadowing different directors. So I've been working with Mr. Perry and learning directing and everything. So acting isn't on hold. I'm still acting but I am focused on making sure that I can accomplish some of the things that I want to do as well. All right. Well, as I said, pleasure to have you in the Virgin Islands again. So next year, same time, same place. Exactly. Same place. You already know. <laughs> All, right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the man Doc Shaw, Sophie B. Talk on All. Keep it locked. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Talk on All, your girl Sophie B. And I'm here with none other than Miss Keisha Knight. Yes, everybody knows Keisha. Ms. Ru do people still call you Rudy Huxtable? Yeah, I think the funniest is I get, you're, you're, you're Miranda Huxtable. I'm like, kind of. But not quite. Right. But you got you got it all in there, yeah. <laughs> now, I, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I watched you from about five years old. From when you started, I was basically the same age when you started the Cosby Show, and I watched you come all the way up for those eight years, and I learned so much from you. I mean, when you had your 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 first dance, your first uh, boyfriend, you called him Bud. <laughs> You know, what, what ladies, well, young ladies go through when their body's changing, you know. So it was like you were my real sister, but just on television. I mean, do you get that response from a lot of, of people? I do. I'm everyone's first girlfriend, crush, sister, daughter, you name it. Right. Best friend. <laughs> so how was it for you? I mean, uh, being on the Cosby show, did the things that you portrayed on the screen, did that help you within your life, life challenges? Well, at the end of the day, it was a character that I played, and I feel like sometimes so often people don't realize that, you know, like how they're like, oh, you're like Claire and Bill, and yeah, I had a family at home as well. Right. So yes, so there were a lot of similarities with me and Rudy, but there were also a lot of differences because I was playing a character versus who I am in real life. But you know, the, the things that they portrayed on that show, I think all families go through it, and you guys really showed us how to deal with it you know, in a positive way. You remember when Vanessa went to see the wretched, you know, that, and stuff like that. You know, you have kids trying to sneak out. And at the end of the day, we dealt with real life things. And that's why it's so universal and has withstood the test of time because it is timeless. The issues that, you know, we dealt with on the Cosby show and they transcended color, race, religion, you know, all of those things. And to me, that's, that's the marking of a great series. So... So how is uh, your stay so far in the Virgin Islands? It has been absolutely amazing. You know, although it's raining right now, it is so welcomed because it is sweltering out here. So I am grateful for this rain right now, but I've had an amazing stay. Absolutely amazing. And hats off to you. Absolutely great words of wisdom to the kids, to the parents. Absolutely good job. I know you're a new mom as well. How's that been going? It's the best job ever. I know. The best job ever. I love it. What are some of the things that you have lined up apart from House of Pain? What are some of the things that you're planning to do? Um, well, I have my spice line, Keisha's Kitchen. You can go on Keisha'sKitchen.com and order. And I do my podcast, Candidly Keisha, every week. Um, so I stay busy. I'm, you know, I write and continuing to do projects. So I do a lot of speaking. Um, it was definitely a nice 
uh, to be able to come and speak in Tortola, I must say. But this is something that I do a lot of as well at colleges and universities. So, Well, we're super duper happy to have you here in the Virgin Islands. Anything you want to get out there to your fans? Hi, just hello and thanks for your, all the support over the years. All right. Rudy, can I ask you a question? Sure. Speaking as a woman, if you were married, would you go to Boston without your husband? No, but I'm not a woman. Yes, you are, just like I'm a man. <laughs> you're no man, you're bud. <laughs> if you were married to me, would you go to Boston? First of all, I'm not going to marry you. You would if I told you to. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You have to earn my love. <laughs> A man doesn't have to earn love. A woman gives it to him automatically. Not this woman.